Last year, Ford Performance Chief Dave Perricot found himself standing next to Edsel Ford II at the edge of a certain pastoral French racing circuit that has witnessed 84 years of glory, gore, grudges, and relentless grit. You know, mused Ford, according to Perricot's recollection, I was here 50 years ago with my father, when we won it. Now I'm here with my son. When you work at Fomoco, you work for a family. Perricot, who, with a small group of volunteers, took over a padlock basement room in Dearborn, Michigan, and labored on his own time and after hours for months on Project Phoenix before it was even approved, tells me with the faraway look, to bring that trophy back and hand it to that family, to return the most coveted prize in family history, that's what it was about. Le Mans veterans will tell you that if you bring a new team, you should keep your expectations in check. And the GT's attempt last year to celebrate Ford's 1966 24 hours of Le Mans victory with a class win started dominously. In cheating rain, one of the four GTs, already saddled with last minute weight and boost penalties, suffered a stuck gearbox right before the green flag. Wanting to be near the action, Paracock's boss, for an executive VP and chief technical officer Raj Nair, left a rain slick pit wall, slipped, and broke his elbow. Amid the tension, nobody even noticed. 